First quarter from the MCG. Alex Ashenko in the ruck against Peter Everett. Ashenko with the bulk. Taps it down. So a chance for the Saints to go forward. This is O'Brien taking it from Winmar. Down towards half forward. The umpire's paid the mark. Gordon Fode. Well, he kicked five goals at full forward last week against Geelong, so fairly impressive performance. And he turned up. He so had a lot of butt puppy fat there uh, a couple of years ago. I wasn't quite sure of the exact definition of it, but I think we both agree he looks in pretty good shape now, doesn't he? He certainly does. So a chance for the first score of the night. This crowd, incidentally, has built up considerably in the last 15 minutes prior to the bounce. Probably around about the 35,000 mark now. Fode right on 50, swirling breeze, goes at goal, looks pretty good and gets it. Great start for the Saints, just what they wanted. Good win last week over Geelong, and maybe again back in business tonight. Yes, and a fine kick from Gordon Foe to play that burst onto the scene as a 17-year-old for St Kilda, and everybody expected him to go on and uh, achieve some fantastic heights. He may well do that yet, he's only a young man, but he just has uh, fallen a little bit along the way. Perhaps we have found his spot at full forward, although I'd hate to be nudging out Tony Lockett. <laughs> yes, no job security there. Back in the middle. Run down by Ashenko. Schwass boots it down towards centre half forward for North. Longmire. Good mark. He's up the ground. As he started at centre half forward last week against the Bears up in the battle at Brisbane, which saw Wayne Carey go down as one of the casualties. He did quite well too early in the piece. That's a fine mark, and that had an aspect of his game that has improved in the last few weeks. Longmire from right on the 50, misses. Comprehensively, it's out of bounds in the left full forward pocket. So four kicks in the game so far. One goal, one scored. Gilbert McAdam chips it close to the boundary line. This is hollow at full stretch. The young centre half back. From right half back towards the wing. Man out position there, fisting away from low. It goes out of bounds, escorted by Stevens. There he is. And a throw in, just short of the wing. Everett and Schenko. Everett did well, just poked it down. Winmar goes in solidly. Shaw is there as well for the Saints. They tie it up. And a bounce. Big pack around the ball. A brisk night. As Don alluded to, not a good bounce either. Knocked on by Ashenko over Pekin's head. This is Harvey inside his own defensive area. Hollow against the flow did nicely. Little chip pass comes across. Stevens goes back, takes the mark. It came from Aitken. All directed with no depth. Here's Stevens. One of the most improved players, too, at North. Kick up towards the 50 metre line. No mark taken. Shanahan gives it away to McAdam. The two McAdams, as we mentioned, lining up on each other. A real interesting move, that one. Dwyer gets taken high. He'll take a free kick at left-centre wing. Mark or Mick Dwyer, whatever you like. And we'll see him get taken a little bit high here. And that's what caused the free kick. But Mark Dwyer with a big job on Wayne Swass. Swass a little bit down last week, but he's had a magnificent season. Certainly has. 20-metre hand pass. Pekin. Kicks to half forward. Scholl is this fellow in some form. Yes, he was absolutely superb last week at the Gabba. And the Bears went forward. That must Mitch uh, didn't miss much at all. Kick off the ground. North Melbourne with the numbers. Stevens picks it up cleanly. Gets onto his left boot. Kicks it up towards full forward. No mark taken down there. Shanahan paddles the ball to the boundary line. Gilbert McAdam is there. Comes out with a football. Long looping hand pass to Hollow. Young centre half back. Over the head of Dwyer, it's a foot race. Again, North Melbourne with the numbers. Hand pass comes back to Smith. It came from Bradshaw. Marking contest at half forward. Rob, uh, Longmire 